This is a five out of freaking five. It is beat making time. Next week is E3. We might have one comes out next week. I have to live for it. Oh, this is your boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Jesse True and Fun out. <laughs> Back at it with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare commentary video for you guys. And this one is going to be very interesting right here. So, in case you don't know, there's some issues yet again involving the boondocks. So, that's what this video is about. So, before I get into it, and, I, and the only reason why I knew about it was because one of the three parties, if you can call it that, one of the three parties involved made a 30-minute video about this issue. And originally, this individual came out with a two-hour-long video that was posted on two YouTube channels. And then this individual made, like, a shorter version of it because there was a lot of pauses and a lot of silenceness, which is understandable given who the individual is and what the topic is about so uh this individual did like an edit version where he took out all the pauses and things of that nature and it's turned out to be like 30 minutes so i had i watched it a second time just finished watching it uh just now before i started this because i wanted to take some notes on this so before we get into the topic at hand let's me introduce to you guys the three parties involved here so the first party I want to involve, and this is the main party here, is John Witherspoon. So, in case you don't know who John Witherspoon is, John Witherspoon was a actor, voice actor, comedian, and things of that nature who died this past October. Now, he played many roles, but I'm going to give you the top three roles that you should recognize him from. Right off the bat, you should already know who he is as soon as I give you the first one. He was Craig's pop father in the Friday series, the Friday movies. Yeah. So, yeah, Ice Cube's father in the Friday movies, that was him. That was John. So, right off the bat, you should instantly know who it is because Friday is one of the best movies ever. And that's, that, first, that series was really good. I like Next Friday. Friday at the Next was the worst round of three, but I still enjoyed it nevertheless. So, there you go. That's the first one. The second one, the Wayans Brothers. Now, those of you within the black community should know who he is. He was uh the rain brothers pops he was pops in the show so instantly right off the bat you should know who he is especially if you're in the black community now the third one oh guys come on now you should all know this one the third one granddad from uh the boondocks yeah he was the voice of granddad from the boondocks so just those three you should instantly know who john witherspoon is just from those three so again he died this past october now so I knew him because of all that and other roles they play. I can't think of them off the top of my head. But those, in my opinion, are his top three. Now, the second party involved is J.D. Witherspoon. Now, I found out about J.D. because he appeared in Dashy Games, Dashy XP's videos from time to time. He was in Corey Kenshin's video one time. The one time I saw him on there anyway. And that's how I found out about J.D. And he had his own YouTube channel and things of that nature. But that's how I found out about JD. That's how I found out about JD. Now, I, I want to say within the week after John died, I learned at that moment that JD was John Witherspoon's son. I was like, what? But first of all, I never knew what his last name was. I just knew him as JD. One JD, one. That was it. That's what I knew him as. But I had no clue prior to his father dying that he was John Witherspoon's son. I had no clue. I'll be honest. You could say, oh, you're dumb for that, but I could care less. I genuinely had no clue until John died. So, there's that. Now, you probably wonder, but wait a minute. Who's the third party involved? Well, I kind of said their name already, and that is the Boondocks. So, the Boondocks. So, we all know about the Boondocks. Obviously, I knew about them with the comic strip, and that was on the newspaper. And then when I found out that they had an animated show, I watched it, obviously. I was watching it like crazy. But I will admit, I think it was the yeah the third season, the last season. I missed like the last four, five, six episodes. I kind of grew tired of it. And it was actually on hiatus, but then I guess they fought, brought it back and finished that season. And I never really got the desire to watch it. I don't know. And then, like I said, they are known for controversy, not just within the show because of the character and stuff like that. No, the Boondocks creator, not the show's creator, but the Boondocks creator 
Aaron McGugger, he left the show. He wasn't part of the last season. But now he's back for this season, which is season four. And that's what we're going to talk about. Since John Weatherspoon, the voice of Granddad, died, who was going to play that character? Because they recorded nothing prior to John's death. They recorded nothing. So, come to find out, his son, he word, his son, J.D., is not only is he, he got his own YouTube channel, things of that nature, but he's also a game show host. He's also a voice actor. He's also an actor himself. He's also a stand-up comedian himself. And he's been doing it for a while. Like, he's been on Adult Swim shows. You know, like I say, he, he hosts his own game show. He got his own YouTube channel. And the crazy thing about it is there was an episode of the Boondocks where Obama was president. Some random black dude came up to hear it like, yo, Obama's about to be president. Aren't you excited? And he was like, uh-huh. That was him. That was him. He had, yeah, a small role, one episode. But that was him, apparently. And if you were to type in J.D. Witherspoon, you can find his resume, and it lists everything that he was a part of. And, like, this dude is professional. He's really professional. So he came out with a 30-minute video, really, two-hour video, and then he released a 30-minute version of that video, basically saying, what happened here? Because... At his funeral, at John's funeral, at his dad's funeral, he actually imitated his voice. He can uh, imitate his voice pretty well. He done it even when John was alive. He did it, you know, when he was giving his speech at his father's funeral. Somebody from the Boondocks was there. It's like, yo, we need to talk about the granddad role. Uh, we'll get, we'll get with you. And they got with him. They texted him about a workshop to try and groom him to the the uh, voice wrapper. The workshop never happened. They gave him a script of the pilot episode to read and record it. And JD did it. Now. JD had his reps sent it to them. I mean, again, this guy was professional. So then, and he haven't heard from him about that. So then later, they hit him up saying, "Yo, we got, we gonna do an audition. Come down and try out for it." And it was so abrupt and out of nowhere. And JD shows up. The casting director saw him like, "Hey, first time on the mic." And JD was like, pretty much, "What the fuck are you talking about? Like, do you not get the?" Pilot episode that y'all sent me to read. Did you not get my? I don't know what they what he called it, but basically my resume that the rep sent you guys. Like, what are you talking about? So there was that. So while he was doing the audition, yeah, he like he would mess up, you know, because he trying to play a character that originally belonged to his father, whatever the case may be. And he was like, "Yo, hold on, no, let's run that back. That didn't sound good. Let's run it back." But they were like, "No, that sounds great, man. Let's, let's keep it moving." And he was like, "No, no, that don't sound good. Let's re-record that." And obviously they did. And so after all of that, he was told who were involved in terms of who was going to play the role as Granddad. It was the creative producers, the production company, the studio, the network, and one higher up creator. And it was said that this one higher creator did not want to be a part of the project if they do not get Granddad's voice correct. That's what JD was told, and that's what he said in the video. Three weeks later, they told him they were going with somebody else. Now JD knows who that guy is. He didn't. He didn't mention no names in the video, so obviously we don't know who the guy is. But he apparently he didn't like it. And I'm not gonna get into reasons why he didn't like it. it you know, I'm not gonna get into it. Just watch the video. I'm gonna have the link to. The 30 minute version of the video in the description box below. If you want to see the two hours on version, obviously look on the side of the autoplay joint. While you're watching the 30 minute video, you'll see it. It's on JD's YouTube channel and John's YouTube channel. So apparently JD owns both of them now. So according to JD, they told him that he was the best, but they still went with somebody else. It makes no sense to me. How can you say, yo, this guy's the best, but we're not going to go with him? Unless, like, he's, like, an asshole, and I don't care how great he is. We don't want, you know, something like that. So that's a possibility, but it's still awkward that here we have J.D., who is John's son, who been with him basically his entire life, who is a voice actor just like John, who is a actor just like John, who is a stand-up comedian just like John, and who can sound exactly like John. And yet they still went with somebody else, which is weird. It's really, really weird. And it was weird to him. So he was like, okay, let me listen to the uh, audition audio so I can, like, hear this guy, see how he sounds. Again, he knows who he is, so he see how he sounds, maybe coach him and blah, blah, blah. And at first they told him, yeah, we can send you that. And then they also told them that they wanted to use some type of audio technology to recreate John's brother's 
Typhoon voice. So, like, they were going to take the guy and then edit his voice so much that he would sound like John playing the role of Granddad, which would be creepy as heck if I do say so myself. So, after that, then, you know, time went by. Then they said, yeah, you know what? We can't send you the audios, but what you can do is come back to the studio and we can't let you listen to it. And, and he was like, okay, okay, I'm down for that. And every time he's trying to set up a meeting for that, they never, either they didn't get back to him or they said, oh, this day won't work, that day won't work, blah, 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 you know, things of that nature. So JD actually got in contact with the one high up creator, the one who said, who didn't want to be a part of the project if they don't get his dad's voice back. He reached out to him via email. And then I think a month later, the dude responded back saying, yeah, uh, I was never a part of the choosing process, but I wish you would have um, was given a role. I wish you were given a role. So now JC is going, what the fuck? So now these guys are lying to him. And he sent that higher up another email basically explaining what everything what happened. So then sometime after that, now here's what happened in terms of the auditions audio. They went from, yeah, I can send them to you too. Actually, we can't send them to you. You know, the dude... He jumped the gun on that, but you can't come down and listen to it, too. Yeah, nobody can listen to it. Don't come down. Like, they, like apparently, it was really close. They had actually set up a meeting day. And I think, it, I don't know if it was the day of or the day before. It would be really close to the day. They, they, they pulled a 180 to say, nah, you can't come down here. <laughs> and he pretty much hit them up, like, in the DMs or Instagram. And the messages were marked as seen. But, you know, no responses. And it was crazy. So, it was crazy. So... What do I think about all this? I think I think it is shady. It's another example of why you can't really trust big time companies. Like you really can't trust them. And I'm not, you know, I'm not, the, I'm not, I'm the type of guy who don't like stereotypes or don't like to be stereotypical. Saying, oh, well, this person messed up. That everybody associated with him messed up. Like you know, if this person messed up, and let's say he's a male, he's black, he's from Texas, you can't trust every other black man. You can't trust any man. You can't trust anybody. No, I'm not that type of guy. I hate that. I hate that mindset. That mindset is so fucking stupid. But you know, but like, this is another example of why you can't trust major companies and. You know, they give you the runaround. They don't give you what you want to hear, things of that nature. And you can't really trust them. You can't really trust them. So there's that. And, you know, it's another prime example of why you can't trust major companies. They have not given us a reason to trust them, which is why I don't understand why some of you, those listening, will go out and say, oh, man, I'm repping T-Mobile. I'm repping Verizon. I'm repping Sony. I'm repping Microsoft. I'm repping Samsung. I'm repping. I'm like, why are you repping these companies? They don't give a damn about you. They only care about your money. They want your money. That's all they care about. So the fact that you going out of your way, get into flame wars online over companies is stupid. It, it makes no sense to me. It makes no damn sense to me. So I think this is shady as heck. What should have happened was this. Real talk. One, they should have gave him the role. They should have gave him the role. Two, if they like... It's one thing to say, okay, as good as JD is, this other guy sounded better. If they would have told him that and just let him, like, have a phone conversation and let him listen to the audio over the phone. And then, you know, and, or bring him in. Bring him in and say, yo, here's how, you know, here's how this dude sounded. What do you think? You know, and things that nature. It, it would have been over. We would not even seen this video. We would not even know about it. Because first of all, like, let me be very honest with you guys. Let me be real. I have not heard about this issue until he released this video. That that's that's uh, if he like if they would have done that, none of this would have happened. No one would knew about the behind the scenes process. No one would knew that JD was given a pilot script. No one would knew that these um the producers or whoever lied to him about the one high up creator. No one would knew about any of that stuff if they would have just straight up been honest with him from the start. And that's that's real. So now let's bring up the last question. We're on Rod season four. So here's the thing about season four. It would be on HBO Max. That's the, uh, At this point in time, as far as I know, that's the only way you can watch season four of the Boondocks on HBO Max. And I had no desire to get HBO Max. I mean, real talk. Dude, I'm subscribed to the WWE Network. I'm subscribed to Crunchyroll, Funimation, High Dive, Disney Plus, Hulu, ESPN Plus. I need to, like, set that up and actually watch some of the shows. But you get the point. 
Right. I'm subscribed to a bunch of stuff already. I don't have the desire to subscribe to HBO Max. Like, I really, really don't. And so will I be watching the show off of that? No. Like, if somebody upload them on YouTube or something, would I watch the show? I, at this point in time, I'm going to say no. But if the show is really good and whoever voices Granddad, that's going to be the tell and tell. That's going to be the tell and tell right there. If the voice of Granddad, like, really sounds like him, then I'm going to be like, okay, either this guy, he, he nailed it, or they did use some weird technology to recreate the voice of Granddad, to recreate John's voice. And then I don't know how we feel about that. Like, again, I'm not his son. And I don't know, it would, and, but after seeing this video, I would feel really weird about it if I would have heard what Granddad's voice sounds like in season four. But at this point in time, I had no desire to watch it. Now, if the show comes out, which is supposed to come out later this year, and is fire to the point where everybody on Twitter is talking about it, I'm still not going to get HBO Max. But if somebody uploaded it, you know, somebody going to upload it somewhere. It, it's going to be a some website. If somebody uploaded somewhere, I'll try to find it, listen, and you know, watch the uh, episodes, and then I'll decide myself. Oh, okay, you know what? This is fire, or whatever the case may be. But at this point in time, I have no desire to get HBO Max to watch the Boondocks. I don't know, and I highly doubt I will do that in the future. And if people saw JD story, and you know, I always saw somebody online on a YouTube channel cover this. So I'm not the only one covering this. Um, but. This could hurt HBO Max as well. So that's why it's like stupid to not be a, you know, a front with him. Cause you know, like if y'all treat him shady like that, there's, and he got a YouTube channel with a lot of followers with a lot of other content creators who are also big time. Corey Kenshin, Dashy XP, AKA Dashy Games, Lamar Wilson. So this dude is big time and he's surrounded by other YouTubers who are big time. This could affect HBO Max's subscriber count and this could affect whether or not people will watch the boondocks or not. So why would you jeopardize all that by playing with granddad's real life son? It made no sense to me. So long story short, they were shady for treating them like this. I have no desire to get HBO Max to watch the boondocks season four at this point in time. So that's my take on it. And I'm going to call it a wrap. So with all that said, y'all know who this is. This is boy New Jack Aspie, a.k.a. the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.